and welcome guys to another tutorial this time we're gonna see the blend node okay to access the blend node we're gonna hit the spacebar and you, we have it here blend node click and bring this this node we had input no, uh, grayscale or color for the foreground color background color and opacity here in opacity we can use a mask and we want to use two colors this control D to duplicate and we want to set another color for this and for the second ok and we're gonna use some noise you can access the noises here in the left panel and we have um, let's see we're gonna use uh, this ok so I'm gonna connect here foreground and the background color in the, in the settings of this node we're going to add the opacity of the blending and the blending mode like the Photoshop if you use Photoshop this is very familiar copy, add, subtract, multiply, add sub, max line, etc. ok and we're going to use our mask in the opacity and we have this effect we're gonna put in our 3d view and we're gonna make the other outputs this is no metallic okay very scale and the roughness All rooms okay and the normal hit back normal In. okay uh, sometimes the, the tree view don't to refresh the tree view use right click and view output in 3 view and the 3D view refresh with our outputs value. Okay, we want to change this color to see better results for the background color. We want to pick this, pick color, and we want to use this. And for this, we want to use another green value. Pick color. I'm gonna use this okay and we're gonna use this multiply opacity okay normal you can change the value wherever you like we're gonna have four and the normal become more pump okay and we have a very basic stone texture okay well the, the blending mode is very important we're gonna use more in the future and this is all for this tutorial i hope you like it and find useful if you like please subscribe and share okay guys thanks